Hi everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to buying a detailed airbrush. I'm going to give you a little guide on some of the brushes on what to look for. There's good points and bad points about these brushes. There's different brands of brush that I'm going to show you today. I've got some pictures here. There's an array of pictures and these were painted with the brushes that I'm going to show you today. So I'll give you a little talk through. Good points, bad points. Price is on these brushes and what I recommend and say is for me, the best for 2023 detailed airbrush to buy. So we're going to start off with this picture here. Now this is one that I did on the channel. So if you wanted to look at this actual video and it shows you how I actually painted this, it's on the channel guys. You may have to search through a few episodes going back because this one was done quite a while back. But this is a picture of a geisha and it is a detailed piece. As you can see, my hand is the full size of her head. So the face on this is very small, full color. We've used opaque and transparent golden airbrush acrylics on this. The brush that I used to do this piece of artwork is the Creos PS 270 on a 0.2 mil needle and nozzle setup. Now I've done reviews on this brush and I have banged on about this brush so many times in my videos on how good it is for the price point of this brush. It's 135, it's probably gone up, but I got this for around 130, 35 I think at the time. And for what you get on this brush, I don't think there's a brush out there that can beat it for the bits that you get on the brush. You get the Mac valve, 0.2 really nice comfortable body to work with with a slope back here so it's nice and comfortable for your hand you've got a slope trigger double action so it's sloped to the front double action down for air back for paint you've got your adjust dot to the back if you wanted to start dialing in your trigger but if you're a beginner i'd advise not to be using these because they are not teaching you airbrushing you need to open this fully up and master the trigger yourself. Do not use this to start dialing your trigger and to get your paint consistency right. You need to learn it from the start and learn that full trigger movement. As I say, nice body on the brush, cup to the top on this, a little cap take off, it just saves your paint from drying up. And it's just a great all round brush. And it was a joy to paint that portrait with this brush and I did it with ease with that brush no dramas the brush didn't let me down it didn't clog up painting that it just was effortless it was a great brush to use for getting down and doing that style of detail on a piece of artwork so that's the Creos PS270 recommended yes if you want a detail brush it does what it says on the tin guys it works Creos PS270 recommended. The next piece of artwork is a school piece of artwork and it is another one on the channel guys. So if you wanted to see how I painted this, it is on the channel, full video, talking you through bits on it. So this is a school with a rose. This is opaque colors, transparent colors and a candy red on this as well. So you've got your dark opaque to the outside We've got the candy reds on the rose coming through and in the skull. We've got all the detailed textures in the skull, so a little bit more realism in this. And then we've got soft smoke effect coming out of the skull, which is a two-tone transparent blue and purple soft shading. So very soft atomizing of the paint. And the brush that I use to paint this one is another Creos, and another Creos that I'll recommend is the PS771. This one is the 0.18 needle and nozzle setup, so it's a little bit smaller on the needle and nozzle, so it will get you down the finer details a little bit easier. You've got your MAC valve to the front again, which work brilliant on the Creos ranges, they really do, they dial your air pressure into the front. Nice cup, same sort of sizes, fixed cup, same as the 2710 and you get your cap that you can put on the top to save your paint. I find the trigger on the 771, the position is more flatter to the top, but this trigger is a little bit more precise and silkier, smoother than this, the 270. On the back, you've got the cutaway to the body, 
and you've got your adjust up to the back of that as well. Same sort of chrome finish. This brush comes up a little bit lighter in your hand. The weight of the 270 is a lot heavier than the, two, the 771. The price bracket on the 771, when these sort of first came out, when I was introduced to it, I picked this up for £216 at the time. And I thought for a detail brush with a 0 0.18, the features on it it was a no-brainer buy it because i brought the 270 first and i thought well if that can do what that's doing the 771 i've got to try it so i purchased the 771 never looked back brilliant brush and i did this piece with it and loads of others on the channel like sort of this sort of style with ease with that brush with no dramas so that's the 771 now you go up again in price We've got the next piece of artwork, which is a sort of like black and white portrait painting with a realistic rose. Then you've got like the pocket watch here. This one's on the channel again, guys. And the brush that I painted this piece with was the Custom Micron, the CMSB V2, which is a 0 0.18 again. So it's the same needle and nozzle setup as the 771. Great points about the Micron, if you are thinking of getting one. The trigger on these are really, really comfortable to work with. A nice, flat, sort of slightly tapered down front trigger. Lovely and soft, precision, brilliant pinpoint on the Microns. This one's a side cut. This is the CMS BV2. Now, these are being discontinued. I think they are discontinued, so you're probably hard to get hold of one of these. Some companies have still got them in stock to pick one up. Price points on these are anything up to about 465 for this brush, which I think for the price is a little bit high when you've got the 771, which will do the same sort of detail, exactly the same, but that you get a bonus with the Mac valve. So, it's an expensive brush and it is expensive if things go wrong, but only in this brush for over eight years, I've not had anything go wrong with it. I've not changed the needle in it, any seals in it. So it's very rare that something goes wrong with the Micron. It will stay with you throughout your career. So a sort of an expensive brush to buy straight off. There are cheaper options like the 771 and another one that I'm gonna show you in a minute. But painting with the Micron, you will find you are sort of it brings you closer to your artwork as these cmsbs are smaller in body size the front ends of the brushes your trigger brings you nearer to the front so it seems like you can get up closer and with the side cup it sort of sits to the side and it gives you sort of full vision so you can see all your artwork which is nice when you're going in they're a very quiet brush as well. They're not sort of fierce on the air. Some brushes you press down, you can really hear the air roaring through, but these are really quiet, which makes you, you can sort of concentrate and get into your piece of artwork when you've got a quiet brush that you're just puffing out a little bit of paint. So painting that with the Micron was really nice. Pinpoint accuracy there, no dramas, straight in, atomizes the paint nice, a great detailed brush. So that was the custom micron the next piece that i've got is the recent one on the channel and i've been sort of smashing out loads and loads of portraits color portraits at the minute and we've done the ink series the black and white i did the two of the ink series on the color and then we've done the two sort of recent ones on the channel there are other ones on these ones <clears throat> now the brush that i've been using for this and doing this work is the H&S Harder and Steenbeck Infinite. Now the Infinity's been around for a long time, a hell of a long time. Harder and Steenbeck have got other brushes in their range, which is like the Evolution. You've got the Solo. <clears throat> there's a lot. There's the um, Grapho, which you can get. They've got the Infinite, and they've got sort of all different models tip sizes and needles sizes that you can get with these brushes. The beauty of the Infinite is, and the things I like about it, is the needle and nozzle sizes. You can get the 0 0.15 setup, which is in this one. 
So I'm set this one up basically for full on detail. You can get the two in one sets where you get like the 0.15 and you'll get like a 0.4 needle and nozzle setup. So you can change your brush to a 0.4. You can get it in a 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, on these so you can change these brushes up to deal with thicker paints things like that which is really good the cups unscrew so you can put the small cup on if you get the two in one you can get the bigger cup so if you want to be using more paint you can screw the bigger cup on and you can also get the micro cup which basically is another sort of lip that screws to the top of this one it just gives you a little bit more on that body or you can use the brush like that and I've used it like that many a times with the cup completely off a couple of drops of paint and you can use it that way as well so that's nice that you can interchange on this brush now when this came out I came from Harder and Steenbeck and basically just picked Harder and Steenbeck up straight away I was using them consistently consistently and then I moved on to Iwata and the, the next brush that I brought was the Micron and I noticed a big difference on the trigger response when I jumped onto the Micron. It was like, oh my God, this brush is incredible. Using the Micron, went back to the Infinite, picked the Infinity up and the trigger felt like it had a, de a delay in it. And there's been loads of social media stuff saying, don't like the h &S, the trigger response, trigger response, banging on about trigger response. So I was basically putting this on the shelf, never picked it up. It collected loads of overspray and dust and I just left it. And I was always using the 771 and the Micron. The Micron got shelved for a bit and I was banging on the 771, loving it. Then picked the Micron back up using the Micron. And I thought, no, I'll give the Infinite another look. Stripped it down to clean it because it had been sitting in dust and the trigger was had frozen up. And I thought, there's got to be something I can do to fix this trigger response and I sorted it guys. There's a video on the channel on how you can get this brush on point like the Micron. And I sorted the trigger, I stripped it down, had a look at how the trigger worked and thought, well it's got to be that piece there because that's the next point of contact. Done the hack to it and this brush is absolutely on point point now it has made this brush come to life again and just sorted out that bad trigger response it is absolutely incredible so this is my go-to airbrush for detail and this is the brush that i would recommend that you buy check the hack that i've done do the hack to the brush I've even changed the trigger top on this, which makes it even more comfortable to use. And it's just given the Infinite a new lease of life. Now, the other reason why I say one of these is because it's the easiest brush to completely strip down than all of these. It's the easiest brush to clean, put back together and maintain the, the parts in it are just very, very nice just to sort of, it's like Lego, you just sort of clip it all back together and it's just dead easy. Once you've done it once, you just, you don't forget and it's just nice and easy to put back together. And that's what you want with an airbrush because it's a very intricate piece, but you want it an easy intricate piece to use. And these are, you get the hack done, you'll have no dramas with it. And I've just been enjoying painting again picking this brush up. I know I can just come in the studio, project a piece of artwork up, mix a load of paint together, give it a blast through, and you're painting. And it's a comfortable brush. It's on point now, and it just does what I want it to do. So the go-to brush for me for 2023, which I think is the best detail brush to date with this hack, is the Infinity CR Plus 0.15mm setup with the hack and the trigger top hack as well. It's just made it incredible. So that's my pickup brush now, guys, for detail. The actual prices on the Infinity, I'll leave a link in the description. I think these are coming in around 160, 170. 
but do the hack to it drop your comments you'll see the video on the hack have a look at the comments on there and the feedback that the people have given since they've done the hack with the infinity set and they're absolutely loving it so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you find the detail brush that you're after they're all good but that's my honest opinion on these brushes i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification drop your comments i'll get straight back to you in the comments and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys